thanks for coming along and joining me for the next Now Meet the Team interview series. It's great to have you joining us. Yeah, no, thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah, what, what I like the most is uh, if I was to do uh, these Meet the Team interviews um, chronologically, you should have been the first person that I interviewed, but um, I've purposefully been saving you up to do a little bit later on in the series, so we're finally here. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, let other people be the guinea pigs. It's cool. Um, yeah, grateful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're used to random yarns with me by now, so um, <laughs> here we go. Do you want to start off by telling me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, yeah, sweet. Um, so I'm Moana, obviously, a business support manager for Admin Army. Um, but to speak about me as a person, uh, I come from Ngāti Whakaui of Waitaha and Ngāti Wai roots. Um, based in the Hawke's Bay where I grew up, um, my mother was based here, it's actually from Northland, my father um, is from the Bay of Pliny. I come from a really big blended family, so um, family is really important to me. And then on the personal side, I'm a um, lover of music, love to hit gigs all the time, it's my favourite thing. I've uh, just recently started learning how to play um, Dun Dungeons and Dragons, I'm a DD and d fan, um, and quiet time for me looks oftentimes like being at the beach, whether it's just hanging out or fishing. Yeah, awesome. And Moana, how did you end up working for Edmund Army? Ah, yes. So I approached an, uh, an old boss of mine, an ex-employer of mine for a reference for a different job, and she uh, convinced me that I needed to get in touch with you, Irene, and talk about this Edmund Army dream. So, um yeah, what I thought I was doing turned into something pretty different uh, within about a month. But it's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for that recommendation from my old boss. Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> what does a business support manager do for Edmund Army? Oh, um, well, we do have a bit of a running joke that if Edmund Army's the machine, I'm kind of like the, the oil that keeps the cogs moving. Um, oil is probably the nicer way of wording it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he laughs about that over the years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but I mean, in essence, it's about making sure that all of the team have what they need so that they can get the job done to a, a good degree uh, and working with the client to really extract what it is that they need from us so that we can best support them in, the, in their growth in their business. Awesome. And um, can you tell me a little bit about your team that you work with? And um, you've obviously been here the longest. You've got um, a number of people that you work with in your team. So I'm almost just as excited to see who the people are you've chosen is, um, is what, what you're going to tell me about them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got some great characters within our team. Um, and I am lucky and very fortunate that I get to work across um, pretty much all of the departments we have within Admin Army. We're so big now that we have departments. So, um, yeah, everybody is really um, individual and unique and just brings their own flair to the game, which is awesome. Uh, but they all really do have one thing in common, which is the drive, right? Like everyone's really driven to be a part of the team and deliver these great outcomes for our clients. So definitely those, there's those similarities. Um, but if I think about some characters within the crew, uh, definitely uh, one that I would, would always shout out to and Mihi too would be um, Francine, maybe even just purely because she's the only other Marvel fangirl uh, who, like me, is obsessed with uh, the going to see the films and it has to be at the cinema so we can get the full effect mm -hmm. um, and having those sort of side conversations about what we think is going to happen in the, the next movie has always been like a great Monday sort of Monday conversation. Um other team members, I think um, Anate always just cracks me up with his, he's got a really sly, dark humour to him um, that I just really appreciate. Um, and then on the other side of that, Ronit, who has, who's just cheeky, right? Like he is just a cheeky guy who will find out little things about you so that he can bring them up. For example, he figured out really quickly when I started with Edmund Army that I was a chief supporter. And so he will message me every time the chiefs lose. And even more so, the, it's like a novella he sends me about why the Crusaders are better than the Chiefs. And I love that cheekiness about him. It's cool. It's cool. And um, another one, another team member um, who I, I definitely work with quite closely would be Hayley. 
And I just find Hayley to be quite a good sounding board for me. Um, I, I often come at things with quite a high energy and <clears throat> want to get these results quickly. And it's good to have someone like Hayley who kind of grounds me and um, has a more uh, logical approach sometimes where I'm just wanting to get in and get it done. She's kind of like, wait, here's some other things that we could consider. And I really appreciate um, those qualities and Hayley. So, yeah, just a really cool diverse team and we all seem to really play off each other really well. Yeah. Um, and for the clients that you engage with, what does the process for working with admin with the admin army team look like? Yeah, so if I use bookkeeping as an example, uh, once the client has moved through that prospect sort of um, phase with the sales team, generally what would happen is that we would have an, uh, a handover to me and I would liaise as the key client contact. So for me, it's working out, all right, what are the systems we need access to? Who are the best people to work with you from the admin army side? And then kind of mesh that all together. So for a new client, uh, it's it's liaising with me. And then we like to have a meeting where we get everybody in on the same chat. And that could be a 15-minute chat, but I think that um, even though I fully support remote working and everyone being able to work from where, where they like and where they work best, it's great to hop on a Zoom and um, sort of build that relationship together so that um, you know who you're talking to, you know where they're based and where they're from and, and their um, background. And then from there, it's really about working with the client to suss out what are the systems that exist, what are the systems that don't exist and they would like, where do the inefficiencies lie, are there any ways that we can help to speed things up or get them a bit more streamlined? And um, in working through that process, we we use a squad system. So yes, you'll get a bookkeeper in this instance who'd be your main contact, but they've got a team behind them who really provides support. So you're not getting just one person who's doing the work for you. You're getting a little bit of an army, like um, like the branding says. So um, we work through that. We suss out what it is that the client requires, and then we work on in the background about refining our process to make sure we're getting the razzle dazzle, the good outcomes for that client. Yeah, awesome. And what is it that you like about being part of the admin army team? Oh, <clears throat> I think um, there's two parts here, and I couldn't pick a favourite, really. Uh, the first one would definitely be the culture that we have at admin army. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Fano is really important to me, and I don't think that just relates to the people that you're related to. I think that applies in a workplace as well. So we definitely have a supportive culture where people feel heard and um, are able to shine in their own way. We definitely encourage people to look hard at what it is that their zone of genius is, what they're really good at, and then develop that more. And I think when you've seen it as yourself, Irene, where a certain staff member might have something that they're really interested in and will actively pursue clients that relate to that so that that, you know, really allows them to, to stretch out that area that they're, they're keen on. Um, and the other side of it, though, is that we we really celebrate individuality and I think remote working kind of assists this as well, where it's a flexible work environment. We still get down and do the mahi, but there's really not the politics of office that, that you might have been used to with other bookkeepers as a client. Um, we, every, most, most of us um, have access to go to an office if we need to, but we all, we all work from home predominantly. And I like that we can do that, that people are celebrated for um, being able to be autonomous in their work and, and work at work in the way that suits them best because when people are happy, when the staff are happy and comfortable in their work setting, the results work-wise are superior. Yeah, and I think a really cool random example of that is, um, you know, we often talk about like if you've had a few days off sick with, a, with the flu or a cold or, you know, the dreaded C word that we won't mention. Um, mm -hmm. But, but you know, that first day back when you're like, okay, I'm feeling better enough to go to work, but um, at the same time, like, I'm just not at 100%, like, being able to, you know, sit at your desk in your jammies and um, just be comfortable uh, as long as, you know, like, you know, maybe you might be in jammies in the bottom and 
business on the top. Um, but that's yeah, which is it. fine, right? Yeah, which yeah, is fine. Yeah. The work's getting done. The work's getting done, and and you're comfortable. It just makes that transition easier. But I think that example would also apply to that sort of Fano vibe, where I mean, and I mean, a few of us have uh, caught the the dreaded C, and to come back to work and have people be. Um, not only concerned about, okay, here's what we've covered for your work-wise and here's what's left over, but how are you as a person and expressing their aroha and caring for each other. I think that's um, a really awesome thing of the admin army. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you can never go wrong with, like, pet and or child cameos that um, happen on almost every team call in some way, shape or form. Right. <laughs> It wouldn't. It would not be an admin army call if there was not some form of cameo. You know. Oh, equally, could be your granddad. Could be. Could be like Bonnie with Harold swinging by. Could be. Yeah. Could, <laughs> could be on a on a big call with all members, and your dad lets himself into your, to your house to go and raid the fridge, and so so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, hey, Dad, how's it going? Right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So. Um, Coming down to the tail end of this chat and uh, my favourite million dollar question, and um, I already made my I've already made myself sick with the fact that I keep calling it the million dollar question, but that's what it is now forever. Um, so <laughs> it's the reason everybody watches. Um, they didn't really care about anything else you just said. Um, <laughs> but if you were if you were stranded on a desert island, what three items would you take with you? Yeah, so um, uh, provided that the island was like relatively inhabitable, um, it would it would be my fishing rod. Yeah, my fishing rod for sure. Um, a pillow because I think you can sleep anywhere as long as you've got a decent pillow. Um, and likely my D and D dice. Just uh, I can entertain myself for hours as long as I could uh, roll a D twenty and work out how the story was going to go. So yeah, those would be my three items. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. I'm loving the um the move away from the alcoholic beverage choice. That the yeah, well, that I mean, look, I know how uh, fruit ferments. I'm sure I'd be able to work something out that in that way. Um, <laughs> kind of back myself at fishing, so I'm pretty sure I wouldn't starve. But um, yeah, you need something to entertain yourself for sure. One hundred percent. Awesome. Thanks, Moana. Lovely chatting with you. <laughs>